morning, lads. It's finally Friday. I'm Marissa Trujillo. And I'm John Christofferson, and this is your KWHS News. College visits will resume soon. Stay tuned for news on upcoming college visits. Remember to check with the Counseling Center, your <laughs> counselors, or their website for updates. The Senior Council Book Drive ends today. If you have books or money to donate, bring them to the table near the main office. The grade that brings in the most books and money will have an extended lunch on November 28th. The senior class, whose members say that they're the coolest class, is currently in the lead. Time to find out what we're having for lunch. Miss Betsy? Hi, happy Friday. Oh, I'm so looking forward to having a week off. We're going to have roasted chicken, mashed potatoes, and gravy today. Come on by. It'll be great. And then when we return after Thanksgiving break, we're going to be so hungry, we're going to have hot wings for you. And then on Tuesday, we're going to have homemade chili with cornbread. I know you'll love it. We'll see you later. Bye. Thanks, Miss Betsy. That sounds great. Continuing with the food theme, the Whitefield High School Student Senate is hosting a fundraiser at Buffalo Wild Wings on November 30th. That's the Wednesday after Thanksgiving. Get your yellow tickets in the main office to give to your server so 10% of your bill can be donated to Whitefield High School Student Senate. The B-Dubs is located at 2905 Geyser Drive by the Road Arena. Come get your wings on. The Gladiators present The Giver, a story about a boy stuck in a strange world where the government controls everything. Performances are scheduled for tonight and Saturday at 7 p.m. in the auditorium. The cost is $5 for students and $7 for adults. Come see how Jonas finds his path. The German Club is having a movie night after school today in room 132. Das ist gut for two hours of culture. Stop by and check it out. Now here is the sports team with our sports update. Good morning, GLADS. I'm Dylan Mack, and this is your Gladiator Sports Update. Winter sports practices are well underway, and we'll have upcoming schedules and scores when those games start, so stay tuned. In the meantime, we are starting a new segment today with some nutrition and workout tips for the holiday break. Here's Miss St. James. Hi, guys. It's Stock with your health tip of the week. So we all know that Thanksgiving break is coming up next week. Yay! But the key break is to get a rest. So you want to make sure that you're not overly stressed. So you're not staying up late playing too many video games, watching Netflix. You want to make sure you get out and get moving. So after you fill your tummy with some good Thanksgiving food, make sure you go for a walk or do something active so that you can keep your energy up for when we come back the following week. Have a great Thanksgiving break. Thanks, Doc. I'll be sure to do some of those over the break. Glads, are you interested in being an athletic trainer for the winter sports, but missed the meeting yesterday? See Miss St. James in room 511 for information and detail. Winter workouts for baseball began yesterday in Bowers Gym. Here's the schedule. Today, freshmen and sophomore report at 4 p.m. Juniors and seniors and returning lettermen report at 6 p.m. On Saturday, freshmen and sophomore report at 9 a.m. and juniors and seniors and returning lettermen report at 11 a.m. Best of luck to our cross-country team as they race in Arizona against some of the fastest runners in the country. We hope to have the results for you when we return after the Thanksgiving break. That's all for sports today. I'm Del Mack. Have a great Friday and Thanksgiving break. Now back to Marissa and John. Thank you, Dylan. Hey, GLADS, DECA is collecting pop tabs to help support the Ronald McDonald House. Your donations help ill children have a safe place to stay during medical procedures and help DECA secure a spot at Nationals. Last year, DECA donated 17 pounds of tabs. Their goal this April is to donate 50 pounds of pop tabs. To beat the record, DECA will need 300 pounds. Will you help DECA get there? Drop your donations off in Miss Hildebrand's mailbox or in room 159. It's almost time to draw for the first semester golden ticket power prizes. We sat down with Mr. Scala to find out what prizes winners might choose from this year. Here's what he had to say. Good morning, Gladiators. I just want to thank all the students who come to school every day and demonstrate power, pride, ownership, work, excellence, respect. We have a, a new incentive for you, and all of our teachers receive one of these golden tickets. 
All right, so just like Willy Wonka got his golden ticket, we hope you get your golden ticket. What that golden ticket will get you are a lot of different prizes. For this semester, we do have some great prizes for students, and what we will do is we will place your golden ticket in the box that you want. So for example, if you want a ski pass, we have two free ski passes to Loveland. Uh, we will put that in a box and you will have the opportunity to win. We also have a free pair of shoes at the Runner's Roost. You get a $175 pair of shoes if you'd like. They have some pretty expensive shoes there. We also have these skateboard decks uh, for any of those students out there that like to skate. And lastly, another option for you are all these gift cards. So we'll do multiple drawings. We have a $50 movie pack, some iTunes gift cards, Buffalo Wild Wings, and Applebee's. And those range from $25 to $50. We have a great prize uh, for second semester. That's this beautiful 40 inch TV, uh, flat screen, Samsung, great brand, great TV. This is gonna be for second semester. So keep doing the right thing. Uh, we'll do the golden tickets again second semester. So again, every teacher has a golden ticket. Uh, the last day to give those golden tickets out will be uh, December 2nd. So good luck. Hopefully uh, you will get yours and you'll have the opportunity to win one of these awesome prizes. We will be doing the drawing uh, during KWHS News uh, the week following December 2nd. So thanks again for demonstrating pride, ownership, work, excellence, respect. Have a great day. If you have not dropped off your golden ticket in one of the boxes in Mr. Scala's office, please do it as soon as possible. Winners will be announced on KWHS on the December broadcast. Good luck. Glads, did you know that the 180 Club is taking donations for their holiday food baskets? If you would like to donate, you can bring in non-perishable food items like canned fruits, veggies, boxed desserts, gravy mixes, or boxed potatoes. They are also accepting cash. Last year, the 180 Club assembled 17 food baskets, and this year, their goal is to exceed that number. Won't you help them reach their goal? Bring your donations to Mr. Sickmiller or any math teacher as soon as you can. Finally, Glads, if you are ready to get into the holiday spirit, the Community Center will be holding their 11th annual holiday tree lighting celebration on Tuesday, December 6th from 5.30 to 7.30 p.m. Donations of non-perishable foods, new unwrapped toys, and gently used coats will be taken. You can also enjoy crafts, story time, hay rides, s'mores, and a whole lot more. Bring your whole family. That's it for us this week. Have a great Thanksgiving break. We're taking Monday off, but we'll be back on Wednesday after the break. I'm Rester Hill. And I'm John Christofferson, and this is your KWHS News.